are here at Oshkosh on opening day, a sweltering day, but there's going to be cooler days to come. And we have the opportunity today to talk with Mike Gill. He's from a new company called Skyreach that we didn't know yet, but we're going to find out a little bit more about that. And we're standing in front of an airplane that people at Oshkosh just can't miss. If you walk by this and you don't see it, you had your eyes closed. Simple as that. But first, before we get into a little bit about the company, I'm looking at this nice sign and a nice reproduction of a rhino down here. What does a heavy beast like that got to do with a lightweight critter like this? <laughs> well, Dan, we're, we're really uh, proud of the fact that uh, through uh, WWF, that's the, uh, the World Wildlife Fund, uh, uh, one of their affiliates, uh, have um, got involved in anti-rhino poaching patrols in South Africa. It's a, a huge problem that we have there with about, I think, one and a half rhinos being poached per day. Oh, wow. And uh, basically, uh, you know, something needs to be done about it. And it's nice to know that uh, some people are throwing some money at uh, looking after the rhino. And uh, we're very proud to be the fact that they uh, they chose our aircraft to, to ah, use okay. for these, those patrols. Um, they sat down around a table for a two or three day workshop uh, with a list of everything available. And uh, they started uh, knocking them off one by one as they didn't reach the, the criteria that they were looking for. And there was a one plane left on the, uh, on the list, and that was the Bushcat. It was the Bushcat. Yeah. So now we got to do that too then. Okay, we know an airplane that looks a lot like this, but we know it as the Cheetah, That's another correct. animal name. So uh, you've now gone to Bushcat. Tell me a little bit about, and we knew that from Rainbow Aviation. So now you're wearing the name Skyreach. We're going to give that address later. Obviously a new company now associated with the same airplane. So tell us a little bit about how that transition happened. Okay, well, basically what we did, Dan, was the, the company did need a, sort of a, a nice sort of fresh breath of air breathed into it. And uh, with a, a, a change in, in uh, management and just basically a general way of, of doing better business, uh, we, we came about with a new name change and uh, we came about with, with Skyreach Aviation, or rather a Skyreach Aircraft. And uh, that, that is the name that we're trading under now, uh, as Skyreach. And uh, what happened from there onwards, we thought uh, we'd, uh, we'd have a look at the, the current Cheetah design. There were a few improvements that needed to be made, and uh, we did them, and uh, hence the, the, the Bushcat. We wanted something that was recognized as being a really good Bush aircraft, and uh, we threw the name in to, to make sure that people knew it was a Bush aircraft. And this rather wild, uh, you can't call this a paint job because this is not paint. No. This is a Dacron, or a, at least a fiber wing, uh, and with the, what looks like overlays or onlays on it yeah. to make the uh, to make the bush cat look, I guess, is what this is. So that's anyway, it's very attention getting here at Oshkosh. People have been walking by and doing a double take every time I've noticed. Very much the case. So you said uh, we got a little detail, and you said your company is 35 people, and you're doing a lot of stuff inside. You're sewing, these wings are sewn, and you're sewing the wings yourself. That is correct. And you're doing some of the composite work yourself. All the composite work so done. That's ourselves. pretty significant. A lot of times, companies are doing other having other companies do that work for them and that has its own challenges you got to make sure they're doing it right now but you said it's 95 percent the cheetah correct so where's the five percent okay if you have a look at the cheetah which is just behind here you'll see that it's got the three strutted undercarriage on the main wheels uh -huh. we've got rid of that and we've introduced a one piece spring aluminium so here. this is one piece all the way over this that uh, is correct this yeah. heavy aluminum piece here correct and with that, we've also now got a hydraulic brake system, which was always the uh, it was always a mechanical system, and that's okay. a greatly improved. That was a little weak then. I it was a little weak. Uh, you know, we want the aircraft to be a really good uh, bush performer, and yeah, uh, meaning landing short and wanting to stop fast. Yeah, like the, that. Yeah, so so we beefed up the undercarriage and the and the brakes at the same time, and uh, yeah, we've uh, mission accomplished. It works very well. Now you kept some of the really neat things I always liked about this airplane. The armrest that swings away, but it has the throttle on the end of it. Yep. I always liked this. The first time I saw it, and you've got one on each side here. The camera yep. maybe can't see. So it's a dual uh, dual throttle. So yeah, they, they work uh, together. So you kept some of what I would call the neat ideas about it. Beside the gear and uh, uh, anything else change, and the, and the, and the splashy paint job and whatnot. Anything else change about the airplane? That, that is the major part of it. Is the is the gear and, uh, and the yeah. brakes you said and the heavy brakes. And we're also offering a, a different options on tire size. Yeah, I noticed well, you got a bunch so of tires underneath here. These are some big, so, big boys here. So yeah, the 800 by or well, the 8 by 6. They're they're a nice uh, sort of tundra type tire. That's a we landing think. off off field, which a bush airplane would have to do. So. Correct. Yeah, we've actually got guys using these up in Namibia, landing in in the desert. Uh, you know, obviously no strips or anything. That's and they they, they work really well. Excellent. Now, one of the, another thing we always liked about the Cheetah was that it was inexpensive, and you haven't changed that too much. It looks like no, that we haven't. Yeah. Look, the the, the we are holding the prices uh, until the end of Oshkosh, you know, as a, 
as a show special, we, we obviously would love to get some, some, some good orders while we're here. Uh, just after Oshkosh, the price will be going up very, very mildly just to, to cover uh, some of the expenses. You know, the price hasn't actually gone up for a good few years, so it's time to just... Yeah, uh, you've maintained the same price for quite a while, so yeah. time value of money and that kind of thing alone, you deserve to go up a little bit yeah, anyway. Deserve, but yeah. the price on the front here says 58 .5. Yeah, that is for this particular aircraft as a show special. Okay. You can... Uh, and a new order one business. is what? Yeah, new order, we're thinking about, uh, about 60 62,000. 62,000 still. Yeah. So let me do a little bit of, I'm going to go back in time a little bit here. When the light sports category first came out, 2004, everybody said these airplanes should be forty to $50,000. They see the $170,000 ones today and lament, yeah. well, what happened? And I point at an airplane like this and go, wait a minute. If you do time value of money from forty or 50000 till today, yeah. this airplane is right in there or maybe even a little on the low side. Here we go, so yeah. here's a full airplane. Bush capable, neat features, new dedicated company for a very remarkable price in today's market. Yeah, just on the note of the company though, the, the company is still 95% uh, the same as it was, uh, you know, the same staff and same management. It's just, uh, we, we've just, uh, we're just doing things a little bit uh, like, like our customers want us to. It's just better business practices and uh, yeah, just looking forward to the nice positive attitude. So if you like Cheetah from Rainbow, you're going to love Bushcat, Bushcat from, from Skyreach. Sky <laughs> okay, so we've teased people a little bit. There's a lot more to learn about the airplane than we can show on this short video. Where are we going to go to find some more information on the web? Okay, well, the uh, the U.S.-based uh, sales, because I don't think we've uh, mentioned the fact that this is a South African uh, manufactured aircraft company. Very good, thank company. you for bringing it up. And, uh, you know, hence the African heritage and the, uh, <laughs> the zebra uh, uh, color scheme that we've got here. Um, but yeah, our South, uh, USA sales are handled by Aerosport Planes. And uh, if you go to uh, aerosportplanes.com, that would be their website. And uh, there's uh, all the details you'd want to run there. Okay, and if we want to go back to the factory and say, show me some stuff about the factory, yep. what's your website? Our address? website is www.fly-skyreach.com. Okay, very good. Yeah. I haven't gotten the chance to fly the Bush Cat yet. I have flown the Cheetah, loved it, reported about it. You can find that on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Reporting to you today from AirVenture Oshkosh, I'm Dan Johnson. Thanks for watching.